tonight on Be Something Wonderful. Do this one thing to manifest it now, the Neville Got It way. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. I got an email from one of our subscribers asking me about after the imaginal act, after feeling the wish fulfilled, this, that, that Sabbath, that period between the wish fulfilled and the actual 3D manifestation, how do I let go of the wanting and desiring? Because I feel like I continue to want it and I continue to desire it. Can you unpack that a little bit more and, and how do we handle that? Guys, we're going to unpack that tonight. So here's what I want to say. Remember what Neville says. For to desire is to confess that you do not possess what you desire. Hear this. This is why we have to let go of the desiring, especially after the imaginal act is done and we're in the Sabbath. We're in that period between the completion of the creative act and its manifestation 3D. For to desire is to confess that you do not now possess what you desire. And because all things are yours, you rob yourself by living in the state of desire. Hear this. This is big. So not only to desire it is to confess that you do not now possess what you desire, but because all things are yours, because all things are already yours, when, you, when you're in that state of desire, when you maintain that state of desire, you rob yourself by living in that state of desire. You're robbing yourself of that higher state, of that, of, of that, of that higher consciousness that you desire to be. And, and here's what else uh, that Neville says. Hear this, because this is huge. You are relieved of all responsibility to make it so. Because as you imagine and feel that it's so, your dimensionally larger self determines the means. Hear this. This is why we think sometimes that we need to hold on to the desiring. Hold on to the desire tight until it manifests in 3D reality. But that's the 3D you. That's the 3D self doing that. You've got to leave that desire now in the, in the hands of that larger, that dimensionally larger you. That's what I mean by letting it go. Letting it go means letting it go and giving it to that larger dimensionally you. Hear this. So you're not really letting it go. The 3D you is letting it go. The 3D you is letting go of the wanting. The 3D you is letting go of the desiring. The 3D you is actually letting go of the desire and putting it in the hands of the dimensionally larger you. Hear this. So it can now manifest in 3D reality. You are relieved. You are off the hook. You're off the hook. The 3D you is off the hook. Stop trying to mess with it now. The 3D you tries to mess with that dimensionally larger you, right? By trying to hold on to the desire, trying to continue to want it, trying to, to make it happen, right? Hear this. You are relieved of all responsibility. You are off the hook. To make it so, because as you imagine and feel that it is so, after, as, you, as you imagine your wish fulfilled, your dimensionally larger self determines the means. This is huge today, guys. So I want to take this a little further, because uh, Neville mentions uh, a story uh, on the trial of Jesus, when the Roman governor uh, uh, Pontius Pilate has Jesus on, on trial. And every Passover during the festival, he releases one prisoner, but uh, the crowd gets to decide, according to the crowd. It, in this case, it's either Jesus or Barabbas, the thief and the robber. The crowd shouts out when, when, when um, uh, Pilate asks the, the crowd, which one do you want to release? The crowd Yell, the crowd shouts out, release Barabbas, release Barabbas. They want to release the robber, the thief and the robber. Why? What's the, what's the story here? Because as we know, Jesus goes on to get crucified and then rise again. So here's the story, guys. When you release Barabbas, you're releasing the wanting and the desiring. That's robbing you of that which you can be. That's robbing you of your desire. That's what Barabbas represents. That's why they want to release Barabbas. 
It's that, it's that you that wants to release Barabbas. Why? Because Barabbas is robbing you of that which you could be. It's that wanting, that desiring. It's that 3D self that's holding on. You're not releasing it to that higher you. You're trying to hold on to it, right? Once that's released, Passover means passing from one state of consciousness to another. So this happened to every Passover where, where, where one prisoner gets released. You're releasing the robber, the thief that's robbing you of your desires. And Jesus goes on to be crucified to your desire or, or nailed to that feeling. And then your desire is resurrected or manifested in 3D. That's the story. This is powerful. So that's your desired state that higher consciousness, you pass over to that desired state. You become identified with your ideal. You remain faithful to it, and then you crucify and resurrect it. That's the story. Guys, this is the one thing you need to do to manifest it now. Release it to that dimensionally higher you. Release Barabbas, right? And that's robbing you of everything that you want to be, do, or have and rise up, resurrect into that higher consciousness of who you can be and who you really are. That is the story. That's the one thing you need to do to manifest it now, the Neville Got It way. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, like and share our videos, comment, guys, and uh, hit us up on Facebook at Be Something Wonderful, on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Kieran. Write me anytime at info at be something wonderful.com. Visit our website at uh, tomkieran.com and be something wonderful.com. Until next time, with great love, this is Tom. See you soon.